Hey yo, how's it going today guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Sword Booster Lock. And I am recording another one today. DJ Khaled has inspired me to just keep on going. Uh, I actually really don't like DJ Khaled as a producer. I think that his, his motto is very smart. It gets stuck in my head all the time. Anytime I say another one, DJ Khaled comes to mind. I hate that he takes good music, good songs that he produces. He's a good producer. The music is good. It's catchy. And then he inserts his own name and another one into it all over the place. Um, because you're jamming, you're vibing, and then you hear DJ Kelly. I'm like, it's over. Dream's dead. All right, so we get to battle Hop. And this is actually going to be a little strange because I've yet to have to do a cut at the beginning of an episode for a Pokemon encounter. And I'm going to have to do that because uh, here we go. We're fighting. He now has a Cramorant, which is a water flying type. So grass will be neutral on him. We'll see how this goes. It's only level 29. Should be fine. Yes, drum beating is our best attempt because it is neutral. Let's see how much it does. Does it one shot? It does. It's good because Cramorant has pretty high attack. He has the weird uh, dive to spit a Pokemon at you. We have a Toxel coming in that is. What, is Toxel electric and poison? Because Toxtricity is. I don't remember what. It might just be poison. Um, in either case, high horsepower will destroy it. Toxel is pretty weak to begin with anyway. It's not strong until it's Toxtricity. That's just kind of how baby Pokemon work sometimes. That's how baby Pokemon work pretty much every time. It did have static. That is unfortunate for us. You're now paralyzed, but... Um, does he still have the... He's sending out Thwacky. Sending out Thwacky, which makes me think that he doesn't still have the Corvusquire, but I could be wrong. I feel like if he had it, he would use it against me. We're going to use Body Press, because I believe it is stronger than uh, Knock Off. I'm having a good time recording today, and I've just been wanting to play, so... I'm knocking out a bunch of them, getting ahead of schedule, and uh, getting prepared for the the weekend of my birthday coming up. October 3rd is my birthday, for y'all to know, and uh, I will be out of town. So, trying to get ahead of recordings, and then I can take the weekend off without worrying too much that y'all are still getting the content that y'all deserve. Alright, we destroy our younger brother, who was our older brother at first, because he had the Grookey well before we had our Thwacky. And so Crobra, so he does not still have the Corvusquire, or, yeah. Which means he won't have a Corviknight, which is actually pretty nice for us with our grass team, because flying, I believe it's flying steel, and that would have been a problem. Um, what type is so Cobra? I don't remember. I think it's part ground. I'm gonna use body press. Oh no, I should've, I'm dumb. Should've used grass if it's part ground. That was normal. And I do believe it is part ground. He uses dig. To heal a little bit from the grassy terrain. Which is now gone. Um, we are gonna go first, which means this probably won't connect. By the way, if you notice that drum beating has 12 PP, and I've recorded three episodes since this, when I was, uh, the episode before I lost, uh, Katara, we found a PP up, and I figured I was going to keep drum beating on our, on Grawl here for the rest of the game, more than likely, because it's a really good grass move, it's the iconic grass move of this, and if we do end up uh, setting up for Gigantamax, it is our G-Max move. And so, uh, I used the PP up that we found on it. Alright, we have defeated Hop. Who would have thought? Alright, but Lee is really the greatest trainer, and I don't want people to be laughing at him because his little brother is rubbish. It's not enough, I've gotta try harder and harder and harder until no one's laughing. Okay. I'm off, mate. 
I'll have to find the kind of Pokemon that I can really draw the strength out of. Yeah, let's go hop. Be optimistic. And while you're doing that, oh, hello, hello, uh, Opal, that child. Gym challengers should battle for the sake of their own Pokemon. Why worry about saving the champion's name? We all know he's unbeatable. That's what you think. I'ma whoop that boy. Anyway, here's something for letting me watch your battle. You get B's lead card. Bo, B, B. Alright, now on you go, child. You're headed off to the Stow on Side gym next. No, the gym challenge is about having fun. Uh, thank you, Granny. Mysterious, slow Granny. Alright, we get an encounter, which means I have my phone right here. For some reason, my phone does not want to unlock with my fingerprint. Go to our camera, pull our pack of cards over here, go to video, turn this around so it's not in selfie mode. I don't know why it's always in selfie mode when I open it. I'm going to slide out the card face down. You know what I realized the other day? We still haven't pulled our reverse hollow, so there's still one of those in here. And our encounter is going to be... Hey, we got a rook -a -D. Talking about, we're just stealing, um, we're stealing our rival's team because he had the Thwacky and then we got the Thwacky the last time. He dropped his Corvusquire and now we get a rook -a -D, which will probably be Corvusquire because I'll level it up. And uh, it's going to be a little weird because I'm going to cut the episode here to go get that so that we have it for this gym. Actually... A flying type for this gym is a great addition to the team. So, um, yeah, it's going to be... Y'all will notice nothing besides this cut that's about to happen. But uh, I'm going to have to go to the other file. Actually, I can catch Rook D on this. Should we go do that? You want to go do that as a team? You know what? I'm not even going to do a cut. We can go get a Rook -D. Um, It should take almost no time at all. We'll just use some of the episode to do that. If I can press the correct buttons, I'm all over the place. Um, let's just go right on back to Wedgehurst. And I've got a bunch of XP candies from doing the raids. I have some medium ones and everything. And we'll just get our rookity right up to par with everyone else. Um, I might have to go to the previous route. I don't know if I can catch him in that one. This will be the first encounter that we actually like get on camera. That's interesting. All of them have been different so far as as far as how I've pulled them into the crew. Can I just find them flying around? I believe I can. But I might have to find them through the the exclamation points. Maybe it's the next route. But we'll uh we'll go into this and see what it gives us. Nope, it's Squobit. I guess I could check the Pokedex. I don't want to waste the whole episode on the encounter, which is why I generally get them off. Of course, the first couple I had to get off camera. I did not have to get Katara or Goldeen off camera because I did catch it on this account. But it just happened at the end of the episode and it was easier that way. Also, Grawl is still paralyzed. Um, okay, what we will do is we'll go to Pokedex. Pokedex. Oh! Go back. And habitat. Okay, it is in this route. And it's in the next route as well. So we will go to the next route because that'll be a... I mean, we're not going to do training anyway. We're just going to use candies on it. And go faster. You want to see some real speed? Yeah. Hey, there is a rook -a -D. This will be our encounter. We are not doing Nuzlocke rules where if I fail to catch it, it doesn't count as an encounter, or it does count as the encounter forfeit. But it shouldn't be a problem anyway. I'm just going to throw a great ball or something that should catch immediately. Yep. I also have that level ball. I can use that too. Should be an easy enough catch. Three and click. Rookity has joined the team.
All right, what are we gonna name him? Uh, it's a female. Um, we're gonna name it Narrow because I've been watching a lot of Black Clover. And Nero is the little devil bird that is follows Asta everywhere. Anti-birds, I think they're called. Alright, so now for our cute little Nero, we are going to have medium candies. Do two and see how much that gives. 6,000 level 20. Fury attack. What do, what do we know? We know Peck, Leer, Power Trip, and Hone Claws. Our moveset sucks. Um, I guess we'll do Fury attack for now. I mean, probably all of these moves are going to get TR'd over if I can. Pluck, there we go. That's a much better move. Do that over Peck. Taunt. No. no. We're going to give up on Taunt. Alright, here comes the evolution. I'm not even sure if I'm going to put the, uh, the rookity on the way. <laughs> the, the layout changes for this episode are going to be just like, boom, rookity, boom, Corvus Squire. And I don't even remember what level Corvus Squire evolved, so we might even get a Corvin Knight. Two more. Let's see what that does. 25. Wants to learn Taunt again. No. Twenty-eight. Scary face. No. What level should we go to? Somebody from the future come back and tell me. What does this get us to? 33. Let's get to 34. Hopefully this doesn't get to 35. Okay, it almost got to 35. Drill Peck. Okay. Hey yo, Drill Peck is 80 power, 100% accuracy. Our attack is what we're using. Pluck is actually. No, Pluck isn't strong. It is stronger, or it uses the the berry effect. All right, we will do this over Fury Attack. I don't think I'll ever use Fury Attack. Nice. Nice. All right. Now, I'm going to quickly, quickly, quickly go up to the top of this. Learn Payback. Probably teach that over Power Trip. Swift. No, thank you. It's good, but... Oh, for a second I thought Rasta knew Dragon Claws. Like, wait a minute. Those Shadow Ball, Dazzling Gleam, False White, Beat Up, Missile, Magically Attract, Brutal Swing, World, Retaliate, uh, Nah, Spirit Bar, Spirit Body Press, Slow Kick, Earth Power, Poison Jab, Zen Headbutt, Psychic Fangs, Round, Light Screen, Reflect, Payday, Will O Wisp, Charm, can learn Charm, uh, Dig, Can't Learn Steel Wing. So it must not be steel type yet. And Venom shot. Okay. Well, that's good enough for now. Now let us quickly head on back. Do some flying. Hello? That's where we need to be? Yeah. Oh, no, no. Still on the side, not hand rely. All right. So that took us about roughly 10 minutes, a little bit less. I'm going to heal up real quick, and then I'm going to switch an arrow to the front so that we can borrow her power to beat up this fighting gym. That is good timing to get that Pokemon. I don't know what the levels of this gym are. The anchor of the last one was 27, so I imagine this will be low to mid-30s, so we probably are the right levels. But I don't want to... I have the XP candy. I can go higher. I don't want to 
I don't want to just steamroll the game with XP candies, but I also don't want to come in underpowered, so I have to thread that needle without really knowing the needle I'm threading. Um, what is it? Where? What is the held items? Are they in this pocket? There we go. Um, yeah, there's a sharp beak. That's what I thought. And we're actually, we're going to give the shell bell to Grawl now. Because he is a physical attacker. Rocky Helmet's a pretty good one, too. Alright. So now we should just be able to go straight into the gym. And uh, take on the gym challenge. Do I, actually, I might need to go up here first. Can't remember. There might be a little bit of story that I need to do. This might be afterwards. That, uh, that was a waste of time. Okay, so we come up here after. There's story up there, but it's not. In, ah, it's stuck. Till after the gym. Or maybe we go inside here and then it happens. I don't remember the order. Hey, it's my mans. It's the ball guy. The heavy ball. Wah! Wah! Why does that man look like he can eat me? Alright, I am ready for the gym mission. I don't remember what this gym mission is. Is this... I think it's the rock one that I have to use the, the dousing device. I hope it's not this one. Because that one was annoying. It is. It is this one. Oh no, it's not this one. Okay. This one is the one where you rotate the, the control stick. In your little clobopus uh, cart. Yes, yes. I, I remember how to play this. Thank you, Dan. Cowboy Dan. Spin to win. Let us spin to win. Okay. So we're gonna do some spinning, and some spinning, and some spinning. Nope, too early. Let's go, let's go. Round two. I'm gonna have to battle this trainer. It doesn't look like there's any avoiding it. Yep spotted me all the way over here which there is really nothing he would have to have poor vision wow he looks very angry a stuffle is stuffle fighting type yet i feel like stuffle is just normal type it's level 31 it is it is uh we'll just use pluck on it should one shot he he lives on one Okay, no counters. I'm always worried when it comes to to fighting types because out of nowhere they can just live on one and break out the counter without you being prepared for it. And in another lock, that's a death. That is a quick one. We have a beware. We're gonna stay in. I I probably shouldn't have stayed in now that I think about it. That strength did almost half. I need this drill peck to one shot. This is basically where we're at. It doesn't look like it's going to. Does it use strength? It used bind. Whew. Okay. Get hurt by bind. That's actually doing a crazy bit of damage. If he has quick attack, we might be in some trouble. Alright. Also, that didn't one-shot the um, Stuffle, even though I'm using the Sharp Beak, which boosts our flying type, so. I might use another candy on it. We did level during that fight. Okay, I have Hyper Potions. I also have a bunch of Super Potions, so I'll, I'll use some of these. I forgot, I forgot Super Potions were 60. 
Okay. I am going to use another one of these. I, actually, I don't think that will even level me. Okay, it does. All right, 36 is good. We will stay there. I don't, again, I don't want to like really push the issue because what happened in the end of the Fire Red series, spoilers if you haven't watched the Fire Red series, which if you haven't, uh, what are you doing? That was my first series. Um, oh, shoot. Okay, this will bounce me back up. Um, in the in the Elite Four part of it, I did grind beforehand, and I feel like I over grinded because the Elite Four was pretty easy. But it's a weird it's a weird spot to be in when you're recording these series. Where in a normal Nuzlocke, like, there's no there's nothing wrong with over leveling by an incredible amount. Like you're just doing what it takes to win. But when you're doing a recording, if there's no anticipation in the battles, then it's kind of, it can get kind of boring for the viewers, you guys, if I just, you, if I just battle raids in the wild area, get tons of candy, over level by a ton, um, it, it weakens your experience as a viewer, because if I'm 20 levels over the Pokemon I'm battling, there's no chance I lose. So there's no anticipation, there's no, what what happens next? It's just like, oh, well, yeah, of course he beat it. He's way over-leveled. So I, I try to thread that needle a little bit with these. Obviously with the Fire Gym, the Fire Gym still had anticipation, even though I, I over-leveled by a good bit. I'm dumb. Push too far over, I don't think I can get back up this. Ooh, maybe with enough. I punch me down. And this is going to punch me up. I gotta go over here. This is gonna punch me up. Yeah, so sometimes you really just kinda have to put in that work. Other times, putting in too much work can be detrimental. Punch me over, punch me down, punch me over. Yeah. And we have made it. Cowboy Dan's a major player in the cowboy scene. Do I have to battle this guy too? What are you doing here? Go away. Let me battle your boss. Alright, Simon. What does Simon say? Simon says, Hitman Lee. Alright, well I say Drill Pack. Get on out of here. I think Stuffle just lived it because Stuffle's pretty bulky. Hitman Chan. Hitmonchan can no Thunder Punch. I need to be wary of that. He uses Bullet Punch. I was about to say, I don't think he's faster than me, but Bullet Punch doesn't care. He just wanted to get in some sneaky damage real quick. I'll allow it. Alright, Grawl is now level 40, so... No matter what happens, we should be fine. That's the other thing that's kind of detrimental about this game constantly giving experience to all of your Pokemon. I believe you can turn that off. I've, I've never looked into it because I don't really care that much. I think it's, it might be in our key items. Maybe not. I think there's a way that you can turn off the shared XP. Because... We overleveled our grass Pokemon for the Fire Gym, but now they're constantly going to be gaining experience whether we use them or not. <clears throat> and so they will remain overleveled for a while. My throat's feeling. It's acting kind of scratchy. Wish I had some water in here, but I took my jug down. Alright, now we face the fourth gym. Baybo, whatever her name is. Do you have an unshakable spirit that won't be moved no matter how you are attacked? I think I'll test that out, shall I? You're gonna attack me? I thought we were playing Pokemon. It's just gonna jump me. Do some judo throws. Here comes the banger music. Oh, Hitmontop's about to break dance. He's doing the pre-breakdance move. I'm not gonna... 
almost died in Max by accident. She has four Pokemon, so I would run out by the time she got to the anchor. Alright, he lives it. He uses revenge, so it's gonna do double. Okay, that did a good bit. Glad it was no crit. We're gonna keep doing drill pet. Because I don't wanna do pluck and then not kill. I am gonna need to be actually I needed to be a lot more careful than I was there because Hitmontop can no counter. Pengoro is dark fighting. Hmm. I think he's a thick boy too. Maybe maybe I should be doing home claws. Let's do home claws real quick and see what he does. Because if I get my attack up really high, if he's not doing a bunch of damage to me. Night Slash, that has a high crit ratio. It was a crit. Man, I cannot catch a break. I am down to two, two grass type Pokemon again. I cannot hold on to encounters to save my life. Alright, well, now we just murder everything, I guess. Drum beating it is. Cowabunga it is. He lives. What does he go for? Work up. Don't care. Your stat raise means nothing to me. I'm bummed we can't hold on to our team. A Corbin Knight would have been really nice and it's diversity on the team. As it stands, our team is basically just Grawl. Like, I'm not gonna downplay Rasta, but I'm gonna downplay Rasta. It's a defensive wall, but it's not an offensive uh, beast by any means that I've seen so far. Maybe I'm wrong. All right, Surfetch. What type, of, is Surfetch steel fighting? Or is he just fighting? Or is he normal fighting, flying fighting? I actually have no idea. We'll find out here if he's flying at all. Or I guess steel would still be not very effective. Okay, he's normal, so it's probably just fighting. Uses revenge, the attack power's doubled. We're fine. We're gonna heal a little bit. I'm beating again. Goes for detect and protects himself. That's fine because we'll heal a little bit this turn. It doesn't matter that he heals because we did so much on the one attack that he will die. Alright, what's the anchor? I can't believe I lost another. I've lost three out of five encounters now. First one, Orangoru, stupid mistake. Um, this, I think this is the first one that wasn't a stupid mistake. I feel like I just got unlucky that they got the crit. It was a high crit ratio move, but I, I wasn't. I didn't know that they had Night Slash. I'd, I've never really used or, or Pangoru, so I don't know its move set very well. Um, Morpeko was stupid on my part. I just I should have known it was Electric type. Not knowing typing with Pokemon is my bad. Okay. So, Morpeko, stupid. The Machop, stupid. I forgot that I was part normal type. Um, this one is just unlucky. Solo running with our Grawl. Grass starter. That is going to start becoming much harder to do in the future, since our rival also will have a Rillaboom. So I'm going to need to keep an encounter of a different typing here in the future. There's going to be so, so many layout changes in this episode, because I got the, the Rookity, I evolved it, and then I lost it. All in one go. Champ lives that. 
What does he use? What does he use? G max move probably. Max dark. Okay. Yeah, we're using that. And we're both gonna heal from the field. How much damage? I know I did around half. I did. I think I did enough over half. Yeah, because he's still below half. So this should kill. Unless I get a, I got a whole, a high roll, and now I get a low roll. But this should kill. Yeah. Okay, so we beat the fourth gym. It was a very up and down episode, but all things, all that end, or what, what's the saying? All's well that ends well. There we go. That's what I was thinking of. All's well that ends well. We'll get more encounters. Hopefully, I won't lose them. I'm gonna have to start protecting them like they're my children. I felt the fighting spirit of your Pokemon as you led them into battle. I felt the fighting spirit get snuffed out of one of them. You killed my bird. My brand new baby. Phew. Facing you gave me all the explanation I needed. Battling against you and your team, I hadn't expected it, but it made my heart dance. It's good to be unshakable in the face of battle, but it's good to be moved by battle as well. Thank you again. Take the fighting badge. You killed my bird. Can't believe I had to shake her hand. My bird! Why is she supporting her elbow like that? Am I just like... Am I the roughest handshaker? I'm like breaking her elbow? Or is that like a, a Japanese respect thing that I don't know about? I'd probably be pissed after she killed my Corvus Squire. Just like, thanks for the badge. Tearing her shoulder out of socket. Better not see me in the streets. I know you know jujitsu, but I gotta revenge my baby. Bow Wark. All right, so she's talking about that that mural up top. We're gonna have to go see her. We're gonna do that in the next episode. Uh, as always, if you like the episode, leave me a like. Uh, if you want to leave me a comment and uh, just say Rip Rookity or Rip Narrow or whatever, uh, please do so. Pay your respects to my bird and its short-lived life. Um, it's very unfortunate to see a friend pass like that, but it happens sometimes. Uh, otherwise, uh, if you're not subscribed, please do so. It helps me out a lot. It, it might not mean much to you, but it means a lot to me as a very small YouTube channel. For growth purposes, I need people to subscribe, and I hope that y'all enjoy the content. If you do, why aren't you subscribed? If you don't, stick around. It's only going to get better, I promise you. Other than that, I hope y'all have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next one.